Hello everyone, I am Saitin and welcome back to my channel Saitin Korean. Today's video to compare the Amazon reviews versus the what is reality problem with the IQ 7 device. That is what I am going to compare exactly in this video friends. So this is a new kind of series which I started to uh, do recently because plenty of users uh, they are asking me this kind of question that they are reading the Amazon reviews and Flipkart reviews and is it good for the phone to buy or not. That is the reason I thought of doing this kind of video which I will try to clearly explain you. What are the reviews saying and what are the reality problems I am facing? That, that is what I am going to do in this entire video. So before I did do videos on the MI Linux device and the Realme X1 Max and a few of the users from the IQ7 model, they are actually waiting for the review. So let's see friends, what is actually the Amazon reviews are saying and what is actually my problems I am facing personally. That is what I am going to compare exactly. So let's get started without wasting any time. First let me try to click on the ratings. Let's see the how much stars so we got right now. So IQ7 has got the 4.5 stars out of 5 as you can see 4.5. This is the highest rated phone when compared with the MI11X device and Realme X1 Max right now. Yes, absolutely. This is the highest rated phone. That's the one thing you should remember. And number of odds also really high. Number of odds as you can see 5442. When compared with other 3000, so this is a 5000. That's another thing. Now, I'll be targeting the negative reviews. What are the negative things about this phone? What are the issues what are the issues many the us are facing that is what i'm going to focus is it is it true or not that is what what my main point is let me just show you another thing which is about the buy features what is the least rated uh, feature in this phone which is a battery life as you can see let's start from there so let's start from the battery life so a lot of users they did report on the battery life about this iq7 device the phone was not unable to uh, give them for about one and a half day or maybe one day of battery backup in this phone that is what the few of the users reported not only that few of the users they did report the charging problem i did write down all these problems i did read all the reviews which are rated for a one star yes and after reading all the reviews this is what i this shortlist all these kind of issues as you can see so let's start with the one by one so let's start with the green tint so green tint problem you can actually see a lot of images from other users that it post in this phone iq sound device yes the iq sound has got the green tint issue problem absolutely even my unit has got the problem i can totally agree on that particular issue even i did plenty of uh, videos on this particular topic and till now there is no software update fixed the issue yes this is a reality friends you should understand if you buy the iq sound device not all the phone Phones will be having only few phones may have this kind of uh, problem which is a green tint problem not everyone that's the one thing you should know and let's see with the software updates whether it will be fixed or not I'm not sure exactly so when you click on the images so when you click on the images you can definitely see a lot of images uh, regarding the green tint problem I can see whenever you see this kind of notification panel exactly as you can see this is what the green tint problem is actually you can actually see the really green tint problem on the notification panel so I did plenty of videos you can type in the YouTube and you can definitely see what is happening. Yes, the green tin problem I can definitely totally accept it is there. And if you ask me whether it, the problem will be fixed in the future or not, because I don't have any idea friends at this moment whether it will be fixed or not, but maybe try for the replacement unit. With the replacement unit, maybe chances are there that problem might get a little bit kind of fixed. That is what I am going to advise for the users. So next thing is about the charging speed. So. A lot of users did claim that the mobile, the company did claim 30 minutes but their mobile is taking up to one hour as you can see the charging speed. So in my testing, in my state testing what I did find out is that the IQ7 has got really a very much high mechanism even it detects any kind of high temperatures the phone will not be able to charge full speed. Yes absolutely you need to maintain really very slow speeds. Yes friends even I did experience this kind of slow speeds in the charging rate. If you watch my charging speeds from the beginning you will definitely see in the beginning it took about close to fighting 40 45 minutes later on the time decreased because then I understood you should not use any kind of activities in the phone when you're having when you're charging the phone no Wi-Fi no mobile data nothing at all just try to keep in the airplane mode and try to charge the device so then try to observe maybe the charging speed might be a little bit kind of come down to close to 30 but still even though even though you keep the temperature sometimes uh, it depends upon the mood the charging speed definitely like and I cannot even I don't know exactly what is the answer for this but still try to keep the temperatures really low and try to test it because in my testing whatever I did my charging speed was close to about 30 to 35 minutes of time that's it the fastest was 27 minutes at 20, 28 minutes that is what my fastest speed that's the one thing which, which I can definitely advise but slow charging speed is act actually experienced by many of the users yes that's perfectly all right battery draining the battery backup they are not getting as much as uh, as as before so sometimes because of the software updates we will definitely see this kind of inconsistency sometimes the performance will increase sometimes performance will decrease same like the battery capacity battery performance also it keeps on changing but definitely i'll try to focus on this battery backup maybe tomorrow i'll try to do the battery draining test on the iq7 device yes i'll try to play the battery grounds mobile comparing this phone versus realme x and max and mi linux device because this is the most requested video for a long time 
I'll definitely do that video. So stay tuned for that video, friends. Definitely, I will be able to talk more things on that. So next, we got the 4G Plus. So regarding the 4G Plus and connectivity issues, 4G Plus problem, it also depends upon the type of SIM and type of location, what you're using. That's the one thing you should definitely remember. But in my experience, in the beginning, I did not get the 4G Plus. Yes, absolutely. I'm really uh, pissed off at that time that other phones were able to get the 4G Plus and they can enjoy high speeds, but this phone cannot enjoy. I totally got really... Uh, angry at this phone to be frank absolutely friends but after the software update i'm not sure what has happened i was able to get the 4g place inside my room yeah inside my house before i, I should not get but later after software update i got the 4g place but it also depends upon the type of location as well and type of sim you're using that's the one thing you should definitely remember on this topic in my experience i did feel the problem i did i did face a problem in the beginning but after the software update the problem got fixed for me i'm not sure about others but for me it got fixed that is what i'm going to mention next about the wide van l1 certification downgrade to l3 this is completely strange because my unit didn't get downgraded to l3 but some of the other units so i did receive so many uh, comments on this one saying that their mobile got downgraded to l3 certification but my phone didn't get downgraded to l1 as you can see absolutely this is running the latest uh, not the latest one latest one update still I, and i have to get it but some users are facing this kind of issues in the iq7 device i'm not sure why they are facing because it should not be like that every user should be treated same way not giving l1 for some users and not giving l3 for other users that is the reason friends i'm not sure why this kind of inconsistency is there but in my experience i did not face the problem but lot of other users who also com commented same thing about this problem in my videos yes that's perfectly i did see a lot of comments regarding those and regarding the connectivity issue and if i got to mention another issue is regarding the wi-fi connection so in terms of the wi-fi connection some of the people they don't have that dual band wi-fi connection so what what is happening is that when they don't have dual band wi-fi connection when the if their internet speed is close to uh, 150 mbps of plan the phone is not receiving that kind of high uh, high data transfer rates because if you try to use a single band wi-fi router in this uh, iq7 device the transmit link speed will be capped only at up to 144 mbps that is another uh, sad part you can we cannot ignore that kind of thing which is logged with this iq7 device so whereas other phones like the realme xn max these are realme xn max as you can see absolutely this phone can actually enjoy 300 mbps as you can see 300 mbps of transmit link speed so this phone can actually get high speeds with single band wi-fi router without any kind of issues but some of the users they're experiencing this kind of issues because with a single band this phone can only get up to 144 mbps not more than that that's another uh, thing you should definitely know about the connectivity issues these are the few problems which i did see in this phone friends regarding this uh and even some users they did report that display quality in this iq7 is it feels like really cheap quality the display when you're trying to watch any kind of movies some people they did mention that kind of problem it's there maybe if you try to use this kind of setting let me try to show you friends exactly try to go to the display option and change the color settings to bright so in the beginning it will be standard try to change to the bright and try to check how is the quality you are experiencing if you try to change that kind of option but still some users are really experiencing that kind of issues and overall in terms of the all-star rating i would definitely say friends for the gaming it's really best it's really best ultimate no no issues even for me and that is the reason why the phone has got for the gaming 4.7 star because this kind of performance i did not see but the lot of comments they do say that phones are not designed uh, for the gaming they are designed to use all other activities as well that is what the few other comments i did see saying this kind of statement that's a yes absolutely absolutely i can definitely agree on that if the phone is designed only for the gamers then definitely i can understand but it's designed for, for all round usage so they should even concentrate on other activities as well other areas in this iq7 device these are the complete review friends amazon reviews versus the what is the reality reviews some of the things which i did face pro actually in the reality yes absolutely and few of the things some of the users other users also face this kind of issues and some users did not like the customer service from the iq team yes it's really slow that is the reason other other people that give the very less rating for this customer service for the iq team department that's the one thing which i thought of just mentioning friends finally these are the complete amazon reviews versus the reality check and whatever the negative ratings i did see in this amazon reviews actually out of 100 percentage 99 90 percentage of them are actually i did face in my exact situation that's it friends this is a quick review on this iq sound device and overall final thing even after seeing all these negative ratings should i recommend i would say for the gamers absolutely yes if you're buying the phone for the gaming that is what i am trying to stress friends if you're trying to buy phone for the gaming only only for gaming then buy the iq7 device if you are little bit into the camera little bit into the watching movies and little bit anything then you should think again 
I'm not saying it's too bad. I'm not saying it's too bad. You may not be satisfied. I'm saying you will be highly satisfied with the gaming experience, not highly satisfied with other interface and other experiences. But one more thing regarding the RAM management and is fantastic friends. RAM management is absolutely the best. It's kind of really close to OnePlus UI. Yes, friends, absolutely. I, I, I never thought I would be saying this kind of thing, but yes, exactly. I never, seriously, the RAM management is ultimate. This phone was able to load 46 applications from the background, 46 applications without even getting reloaded. Yes, I did extreme kind of testings in this phone. It's really great in terms of the performance, but in other factors, you need to think and buy it. So thank you for watching this video, friends. And hopefully my videos will be definitely helpful for you in terms of deciding whether to buy this phone or not. For every problem, whatever I mentioned, there's a video which I uploaded in the YouTube. Please try to watch the videos. So the only then you will be able, able to get the clarification. And thank you for watching and seeing the next video, friends. This is a complete review about the IQ7's Amazon reviews versus the reality, what is happening. See the next video until stay tuned for more updates. And don't forget to use my links in description to buy the products and to support me. See you in the next video until then. Bye.